Come the durian season in June each year, durian lovers haunt the stalls across Singapore, sniffing out the best offers available. But in the past two years, something changed. Nowadays, usually I, I shop on like Shopee for durians. My neighbour actually recommended me to buy online and then they will actually deliver it to our house. So like from then, I stopped buying durian from the physical stores. It's a lot more convenient, you don't have to travel, you don't have to go all the way up. On Red Mart, they also do these durians. But the durians, I see a lot of the customer review, they put like very frozen, um, very hard, because I'm not sure how they keep. Yeah, so it might not be that fresh. Lah. Can't sniff, can't shake, can't knock. Can buy or not? The pandemic has upended many things, including the much-beloved Singapore tradition of buying durians. What used to be a tactile experience has now become a sanitised version of simply clicking on Add to Cart. Today, durians are sold everywhere from the vendors' websites to third-party e-commerce sites such as Redmart and Shopee, and even delivery platforms like GrabFood and Food Panda. Besides the convenience, durians bought online can be cheaper depending on the deals available. But questions also arise. How does one ensure quality? In July 2020, customers who ordered from a local durian delivery website received what they claimed were rotten and frozen durians. 150 of them banded together to make a police report. The Consumers Association of Singapore has not received any complaints against online durian sellers so far this year. But buying durians virtually can still be a hit-and-miss affair. So I bought from Durian Prince. I think it was quite ripe in a sense, so it was quite soft. So we actually told the durian seller, so um, they were very nice. They told us that the next time I order, they will compensate me another box. You will never know what you're going to get and how fresh it's going to be. Lah. Depends on your luck. When you can buy durians from any one of these online platforms, how do you know you're getting the good stuff? I'm here at Durian Superman in Topayo to find out. If it's not good, we will just chuck it away. Um, every day, there will be about 10 to 30% depending on the day. A lucky day, about 10% of the durian itself is actually discarded. So we were QC on our end, use our eye power. Uh, the sad truth is that sometimes the verdict still depends on the consumer. Durian Superman has been operating primarily online on multiple platforms like Shopee and Q10 since 2019, with prices being slightly cheaper than at the shop. Maybe a two or three dollars, five dollars different. It depends on the promotion because uh, some promotion is next day delivery or it's a pre-order. So you might get it cheaper than our shop and depends on sometimes third party apps they have like um, subsidized promotion so they subsidize like how much percentage of this you get lesser uh, deduction of your commission so that, that helps as well. The commission he gives to e-commerce platforms ranges from 5% to 30%. The durian story in Serangoon North does not list their durians on third-party e-commerce sites, but about 50% of their durians are sold online through their website and social media pages. Owner Jonathan T says there is no difference in selecting which durians are for online purchase and which are for walk-in customers. So if let's say we notice that this uh, durian is hard, too watery or no taste, then we will reject them and put them on site. Then we will choose a good one for delivery again. So how do I pick the best durians online? I'm meeting a seasoned buyer who gets her durians from Shopee to ask her for tips. Jia Ying has bought durians from Shopee at least 10 times from various durian vendors. I will always scroll through like all the reviews and then there's like pictures, videos for, for me to see. So usually if they sell like 1,000 plus, then I will like be more likely to make a purchase. Lah. Because usually I feel that if they sell more, right, then their turnover will also be faster. So the durians are generally more fresh as well. I buy from the same seller until like the durian from that seller is not as good anymore. Or like if there's this seller that particularly has flash sale, then I will give it a try. Lah. So you can actually set the reminder on, for the flash sale timing, right? Then they will um, have a push notification to let you know that this durian seller is actually on sale. We're in luck. There's a flash sale today on Durian Plantation's page and Jia Ying snacks the deal. 
I've invited another durian expert, ST Senior Food Correspondent Wong Ah Yuk, to do a taste test with her. Okay, so Ayok, these are the durians that I ordered um, from Shopee. This one is the Mao San Wang one. Yeah. Shall we try? Okay, sure. Wow. Yeah. Looks a bit small though, huh? Yeah. yeah, the ones that I've eaten usually are much bigger. Mm. The taste is not bad. Uh, it starts off a little light, but then slowly, I think it, it comes out and it grows on you. Mm. It's not the best Mao Shan Wang I've eaten. Yeah, the flavour is, is lighter than uh, some of the really it's good ones. Like, would you like to guess how much this is? Okay, so this for is... For this box. Uh, so if it's 400 grams, it doesn't look like one whole durian to me. It looks like maybe half a durian. So I would say maybe half a durian would be about $15. 15 Yeah. This is $27.80 for this okay. box. I'm not very good at buying from Shopee, so I don't know whether that's <laughs> expensive or cheap. I think I did try to compare before. I find it cheaper to buy without the, the husk, yeah. but then I think the experience is different because like right. when you buy with the husk, right, you get to like open it, open them yeah, up together, right. then it's another whole different experience. Yes, of that's durian. right. And you get a fresh durian. Yeah, yeah right. it's, it's still warm, right, when you open up. Yeah. So uh, that makes a big difference, I guess. Like they say, with great risk comes great rewards. I've learned how to get a good deal online, and with durian season in full swing, there's no better time to try it out.